Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Why does it go? Why? Oh, here we go. Nice to hear. Hammond accused of being American moments. I'm laughing at something different, okay? I'm sorry. Uh, hi, guys. My name's Connor. <laughs> Let's just go. <laughs> uh, if you're watching this in America, America, you may be amazed to hear that the Ford Mustang has never been sold officially in the UK. Well, until now, because Ford has now decided that the latest Mustang will be sold in the UK with a V8 engine and right-hand drive. Mm, and this has made our other resident American very happy. He was so excited, in fact, that when the first right-hand drive Mustang arrived at the docks in the UK, he was actually there to meet it. <laughs> is this real carbon fibre? No, it's not. Are these real Ram Air scoops? No. I'm sorry, Richard, it's It's, it's not joke supposed car. to be a Rolls Royce. It's simple, it's fast, it's a worker's car. It's for blue-collar workers. It's Are you simple. born in the USA or something? What has <laughs> happened to you? But you can't have a Corvette in Britain. It's too brash, it's too ghastly. They like turning up at one of the Queen's garden parties in chromed cowboy boots and chaps. <laughs> what I don't get about Corvette, I mean, uh, taste is, is subjective, right? But if, if, if you're going to spend that much money on a Corvette, why not just spend it on not a Corvette? I, sorry. Of course, Hammond failed to understand any of this because deep down, he is a secret American. Yes. I love muscle cars. I love the fact that they're about standing quarter miles, about racing away from the lights when the police aren't looking. They're about cowboy boots, work boots, denim jeans, dime stores, bars. Wait, I love that. guys, so Jeremy said that these are fake uh, Ram vents right here. Like, like you have in like a, a jet airplane. Are there actually cars that have openings that so that air they're going through it f actually fuels the engine because that's pretty crazy i thought that was just for like jet engines denim jeans dime stores bars i love that would you wear chaps no, because we have trousers. What about cowboy? Oh, you are cowboy boots. Well, it's appropriate, isn't it? I'm welcome. Listen, I don't want everything from America. I just want the Mustang. Amer Stupid. No, America wasn't designed for here. If you saw a classic Mustang, say a dark green one, and it was being driven by Richard Hammond, all you can see is his face just yeah. sticking up above the steering yeah. wheel. But you'd still think, I bet he's wearing cowboy boots. And he is. The only thing he doesn't do that he should, as an American car enthusiast, is play golf. Yeah. Or do you mean, yeah? Yeah. 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 Have you got something yeah. you'd like to share? My name's Richard Hamden. I've taken up golf recently. I've been having lessons. <laughs> yeah. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. I bought a set of golf clubs and I've been having lessons twice a week at my local golf course. Why have you taken up golf? My mates seem to be really enjoying it, so I went round with them and I tried it and it was really, really hard. It's hard. It's honestly it's I'm really not hard. interested. And so then I've had lessons. I was having quite an interesting thought process there about American cars and now suddenly my day has been ruined. Somebody I've actually enjoyed working with for the last 15 years, it turns out, is weird. Would you have that at home? Yes. He would. <laughs> he yes. would. He would you have that at home? No. They actually had a picture of him. The nine-year-olds who designed this had a picture of him on their desk and went, let's make him a car. You will both start to like this before we finish. I will not start to like this car. You want to be an American, don't you? No, I don't want to be an American at all. Are you sure? I like, no, I like Are muscle you? cars because they're folksy, they're for real people, they're uncomplicated, <laughs> they're Come unpretentious, on. they are showy, they're crude, they're wonderful, I love them. The American flag. Hello over there, unless I'm very much mistaken. That's a Ford Mustang. The person to whom we have bequeathed the worst car in the world, all things considered, his name appears on the V5 document for the Lexus SC430. And here it is. It's Mr. Richard Hammond. And what's this?
I really want to know what was going on in that episode. What's that? It's the Stars and Stripes. That, my friend, is a Steve McQueen special edition jacket. Is it? It's for the other yeah. British yeah. Uh, trade mission. British? And it's got a Union Jack lining, and it's got a British flag there. Why didn't you think to do that? Because well, that's better. Because I didn't. Because you're think. fundamentally American. You want to be an American so you can have a pickup truck and sit around a campfire going, yeah! You do. Noise. I, I like Shut up, Jeremy! I like pickup trucks, I like fires. That doesn't make me American. You like cheese with things. <laughs> you do like cheese with things. But not with everything. I yes, don't like you do. cheese with things. lettuce. Yes, you do. You have cheese on your salad. You were the one who put a winch on and said, yes, we'll need a winch. Why are you impersonating me? <laughs> I was impersonating you, impersonating him. No, me impersonating him is, yee-haw, let's skin <laughs> possum, throw it on the fire, get Wilbur and Myrtle over, they can look at the V8 in my pickup truck and my... Get Wilbur and Myrtle over. They can look at the V8 in my pickup truck and my Steve McQueen jacket. That's him. <laughs> look at him. Bet you wish that was Budweiser. You do, don't you? I'm you like this. You? I'm still in mourning for my car's face that you pulled off. I you didn't pull it off. Didn't you pull pulled, you it, pulled off. it off. Just yeah. peeled off. You can see his skull. It's like Terminator when all the skin's melted off. <laughs> you can just see the structure. Do you like steak? Off. Yes, I do. Do you like cheese? Yes, I do. Do you there like you pickup go. trucks? Yes, I do. Do you like tenting? Yes, I do. Do you like Harley Davidsons? Yes. Have you got some cowboy boots and have you got a big hat with a piece of string underneath it that says Made in USA inside it? You are American. I'm not American. You are American. You are. You've got an American. Why did you buy that? Admit it. It's good. It's a Steve McQueen special one. I was pleased with it. They are quite easily amused. They're Americans. unbelievably easily amused, and that's why they're able to make True. NASCAR exciting. It's just some good old boys going around in a circle, and they go, oh, hell, I'll go pay to watch that. 250,000 people turn up to watch because it. Because it is a good sport. It's a great yeah, thing to watch. Hammond, you would say that because... Not even I think that. Turn up to watch because it. Because it is a good sport. It's a great yeah, thing to watch. Hammond, you would say that because you're an American. Not you an American! <laughs> Hammond, you know what? You've got a Stetson, you've got cowboy boots, you've got chaps, you've got a Harley Davidson, you've got a Mustang, you'd like to get a beer, and you put cheese on everything. I, I don't! <laughs> made a living out of being an American. Your Saturday night programme is a fat man falling off some foam rubber. <laughs> All right, hey, we'll watch that. <laughs> and they turn up, they turn up in their millions. Hey, I'm, I'm not an American. Look, no, Hammond. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, Jeremy. Yeah. You think can ah! to be an American so you can have a pickup truck and sit around a campfire going, Okay, screw you. No, that was awesome. Uh, hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, th that's it for today. I'm going to upload this tomorrow. Great as always. Love Top Gear. See you guys next time. Bye.